So we're here at Big Swing Golf Melbourne, and we're here to play Ambrose, and Ambrose format with Todd Woodbridge. And we're gonna do the, we're gonna play the back nine holes at Harbour Town, which is a course in Hilton Head that we play in the US, one of everyone's favourite courses, and uh, let's go see how Todd does. Oh, I think I put you in the bushes. Right side. Oh, it's opened You know what, it up. not perfect, but it's all right. It's opened it up a tad. Only got 230 to the pin. Right, up to you. See what all you right, can do. let's go. So, and so Hilton, on that. So Hilton had... Um, That's out of bounds. Oh, is it? Put some pressure on me on the first hole. Jeez. All right. <laughs> Perfect. All right, we're away. You're not bad, are you? We're away. Okay. Where's the hole? Down and in through there. All right. Oh, Jeff, I've got the Ooh, rights. Oh, we've got guys. the rights. Oh, cut path. Ooh. Twice. Three times. <laughs> Is that another out of bounds? No, it's just in the rough. Oh, what a putt. Okay. Wow, Good so try. It looked like it broke a bit. We've got another chance of it. Yeah, this green would break that way a little bit, I think. If okay. it's the same. <laughs> that was a good putt. Oh, uh, we've bogey the first, Todd. Bogey the first. Well, that's going to give other people a chance. 381 metres, into the wind a little bit. <laughs> Everything's gone. He's got the right. Dead right. So you got a shot from there, I think. Or we would have a shot. Okay. 214, though. Oh, out of bounds again. Ooh. Okay. Putting some uh, pressure on me, Todd. Jeepers. I play the real game better than this one. Perhaps I need a drink. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling rather let down by my performances at the moment. So far, you've been useless. But we've got eight holes to go. All right. Shot. Bit of a draw. Bit of a difference in length from the two of us. We can play from there. Oh, it looks Ooh. great. Sit down. Oh, we got oh, the gimme. Got par. Nice well par. Done. Okay. We're on. We're off and racing. We're off and racing. Haven't played, uh, taken one of my shots yet, but we will. All right, looks like I got one in play. That's a good one there. Look at that. All right. There he is. Yes, he come on. He feels better now. Uh, let me put that on the tee for you. Um, He's away. 95 mile an hour club head speed. Yeah, that's Do about you, right for Have holding. you ever done any of that stuff? Like, measured your speeds? Yeah, and look, your... I play golf exactly the way I play tennis. Um, so I had a mediocre serve that relied on accuracy to get first serve percentages in, um, which means in golf, I don't hit it very far off, off the tee. But because I had such a bad serve, I had amazingly good, if I could say so myself, good volleys. But I knew how to make difficult volleys and mm. had good feel because I had to rely on that. Uh, that's how I play golf. I end up getting around the edges of tons of greens and I get it up and down, I putt okay. Um, so it, it's bizarre, but a lot of my tennis mates play golf exactly with the same mentality and style that they played their own sport. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, because I feel like I can tell a person's personality by the way they play golf right. a little bit. You yeah, know, you can kind of get a measure of the guy, right? Um, <laughs> 
That's funny. I think you sell your golf and your tennis a little bit short. Okay. All right, All right. pressure's off now. We got one on. Yeah. Got the so draw going 25. this morning. Club head speed. And this will be interesting to see what yours comes Ooh, out. Right in the, just in the rough. Might be all right. Oh, it looks good. Really good. Sit. Wow. Sit, sit, sit. Sit. Came out, kept running. Yeah, I thought you had more spin than that, but good shot. So what's the equivalent of putting in tennis? Uh, Putting's the part that drives us nuts. Part, which, Putting's the part that drives golfers nuts, right? Yeah, because that's where you're supposed to put balls away. Uh, you know, I, I don't... Because we're reactive and the point's in progress, we don't have so much of what how much of the importance of putting is. Yeah. Because if I've got something to put away, if I'm at the net, I just bang, it's gone. I, I react, I don't even think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, just do it. So the serve maybe is the place where you, the, yeah. yips, the yips thing can yeah, come along, it, right? They do, yeah, that, that's the hardest part about, particularly, if, let's say you're serving for a set or you're serving for a match. First serves are so crucial because you can, you can win a point outright, but so many people can be serving well, then, first serve percentage just crashes and, and lets the guy in. So I think, I think that is the moment when you are in control of, of everything, the ball's in your hand, the racket's ready to go. That's that putting moment where you do have that. It's all on you. Yeah, that yippy moment, if you like. And yeah. there's been some famous players that have ended up with serving yips. And that's just thinking, I mean, because in golf, it's just thinking about your putting stroke too much and yeah. not just trying to roll yeah. the ball. Well, in ours, we'd be thinking about scoreline yeah. um, and, and nerves. Yeah. So I guess this is the most nervous part, isn't it? Standing there, you know, shaking. Well, as you said, it has such an effect on your score. I mean, you just add one yeah. every time you miss one. Right? Yeah. 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 But we get a second serve when you miss the first. So. Yeah, golf would yeah. be fun with a second Wouldn't serve. Have what? Yeah, imagine what we'd all shoot. Uh -huh. Get in that range. Is it in the range? Good looking putt. Oh, well Gimme. Another All par. Right. Another par. Good job. We're off to the races. Okay. Oh, heck. I don't hit that one, Jeff. Oh, alligator territory. Yeah. Swamp. Big gators at Hilton Head too. Big alligators. Carried, carried well. Uh, yours. You know what? Pressure on again, huh? You know the one thing that, that uh, I've always been good at? Choosing a good partner. <laughs> so there, you go. there you go, absolutely. <laughs> so tell me, I was interested in that one actually. We, doubles partners like close relationship, right? It's like us and our caddies. Mm -hmm. There are some players who hang out with their caddy off the course mm. and some players who just won't. Mm. And the long-term relationships tend to be the ones that don't. You know, yeah. they go off and have their own dinner, stay at their own place, and they just, they're together on the golf course. Did you hang out with Woody or? Uh, not often. Um, in a sense, it, it was exactly the same. So Mark and I played together for 10 years. Um, he lived in, uh, in Mission Hills in California, uh -huh. where they play the ladies' uh, major. Um, I lived in uh, Arworth in Orlando. And that was very deliberate in a sense, is that I didn't want a, a non-tournament time to be near each other. I wanted to get away because we needed to, to have that space. Same thing at majors, um, we'd stay in different places or if we were, let's say we're in New York at the same hotel, but we wouldn't eat dinner together. Um, we would stay away under Deliberately. That, deliberately, just yeah. under that pressure because you needed the, some, some space. Yeah. Um, more normal weeks, you'd say the smaller tournaments, often in smaller towns, yeah, then we'd eat together. But as pressure rose, you tended to give each other space and yeah. time. And so that's how you could, we could play together for 10 years. You're in the Gators. Beautiful. Looks pretty good. Skirt the bunker. bunker. Yeah. Jeez, I'm glad I got you. A1. Well done. Time for birdie. This is Jeff Ogilvy playing with an anchor. Me being the anchor. Getting heavy, Todd. Mm. Great looking shot. Come on. Look at that. Get tight. Get us, give us a birdie. Well, Ooh. we got a chance. Well done. 6.4 metres. Yep. So I've got to remember the putting here. Oh, 
Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh, oh it was right on there. Nice part. Another par. We got a par three now. One of the hardest shots on tour. Okay. It's got water in it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is one of the scariest holes on tour, actually. It's always windy. Yep. And obviously short, right, uh, is dead. soup. And left in that bunker is usually you don't get up and down. So right. it's one of those shots you just have to hit the green. Oh, here he is. Turn ball. Here he is. Wow, That's here he is. All right, we found a green. <laughs> he just gets, he gets better as it goes. Okay. Nice shot. Is that just right. a normal six iron? Yeah, for me. I right, well, well, considering that I've, I've hit about four in the water already. Uh, ah, we'll take, we'll take in Todd's. The, in the bunker. That That's why I always hit it on this hole too. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a bad so, spot. So tell me then, if you always hit it in the same spot, even in a, a virtual game like this, how much is, is the psychology about where you go and play and what courses you choose in a PGA schedule? A lot, yeah. I mean, Hilton Head's one, Harbour Town's one that I played well, so I used to go to. There's history on this hole, because everyone on, there's, because there's water short and right, and it's a really swirly wind hole, everyone sort of, it's one of those holes, it's a bit like 12 at the Masters. You're just happy to get through 14 at Harbour Town, right? You're just happy to get past. On the green, left edge of the green, two putt and go away. So there's a bit of that history. But yeah, in general, I played, the first few years I played everywhere that I fit. And then there's just do, a few courses that I just couldn't work out. Do you do that just to, because A, you, you, you want to play, but then you've got to find out where you're best at. What, yeah, what, you find out what works and what doesn't. Um, there was a couple courses that I'd always play well at. I often played well at Jack's Place Memorial. Played well at Kapalua, played well at Harbour Town, but then there were other places in Memphis. I never, I don't think I made the cut once out of about eight or nine tries. Sony Open in Hawaii, I couldn't play. I just played awful there. So I like the courses, but sometimes it just doesn't suit your eye, or it's the wrong time of year, or the wrong grass, or something. So after four or five years, you start getting a picture of your comfortable places, the town you like, good hotel, the course suits you, you play well. And when it's your job, you just, that's what you do, right? Not necessarily uh, where everyone else is playing. You play where you play well. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's... I could never I, win a match in Rome. One of the great tournaments of all time. Beautiful city. I never went there because we barely ever won a match uh, in singles and or in doubles. Um, and so I only went back there for the last two years of my career when I, when I played with, uh, one with one year with Jonas Bjorkman and one year with Mahesh Bhupati. Um, because the rest of the time I hate it. And I've gone back now as a tourist and it's a lovely city. Isn't that funny? I mean, a tennis court's the same dimensions everywhere, right? Yeah. But there's some places that no, it just doesn't work, right? Couldn't win a match. All yeah. right, I'm going to make right. my birdie. Good line. Oh, I gave that a bit of a tonk too. Our feel on oh. the putting, that's not good yet either. Ah, I felt like I hit that pretty yeah. solidly. So, we need to get it inside of that. Don't want a three putt, goodness me. No, we're not doing that. Pretty straight. Get in there, go, 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 go. Ooh. Sit, sit, I sit. smashed it. You smashed it. Oh, we've got oh, work to do. We've got no, work to do. No, bogey. You're kidding. Oh, there he is. We're back. There he Split is. Split the fairway. Bit of run. Takes the pressure off. Well, we might as well try to... We've got one in yeah, play. Yeah, in play. So, smash a hard, low running draw out to the right corner. Do you have that shot? Well, we'll see, I guess. <laughs> This is one of the. This is quite one of the ambitious shots on tour, trying to hit it over these trees. Oh, Most guys start. don't try, but every now and then. We've got wind helping. Get over! Oh no! Straight oh, at it too. Splash. That's why it's Ambrose. Yeah. I was actually pretty happy with that shot. <laughs> Oh, nice try. 
One point two. Right. That's so good. We've got, got par, par locked up. <laughs> Oof. He's warming up. He's calibrated now. Look at yep. this. I've got my feel. You're a perfect Ambrose partner. Yeah, now you can have a Straight up the fairway. Might as well try to get it wide up there. That was well hit, that one. Yeah, what did I... Downwind a bit. Oh. Come on, get up there. Tiger line. Get up there. Oh, there we go. Oh. That's what we like to see. I'd take that on Sunday at Harbour Town. So everyone remembers the doubles. Yeah. But what was your, uh, you're a pretty amazing singles player too. What was your best result in singles, <laughs> I, you think? I wouldn't say amazing. Wimbledon uh, semi-final though. I was, a, I was a solid singles player and people tend to forget that. Um, my best, best result always came at Wimbledon. Um, and my best year was 97, which um, I lost in the semis to Pete Sampras, beat Michael Chang in the first round, Pat Rafter in the 16s. Wow, it's um, a good tournament. And, and got smashed by Pete Sampras in, in the semi, but was playing the, the best. As he did to everybody, right, yeah, at Wimbledon. Yeah, that particular yeah. tournament. He lost serve twice um, throughout his seven matches. One was in the opening round to Peter Corder, um, and I was down two sets and a break and broke back to be able to get to a tie break in the third. So, but, but I guess, um, interestingly enough, throughout my career, I had wins over you know, a whole heap of world number ones, if you like, uh, at various times. So I, I was one of the rare people that beat Sampras at Wimbledon. So in, in his second year there, I beat him first round and then lost to Edberg second round. That was a tough draw. Yeah. Um, and the, the likes of other Wimbledon champions like Krychek, Stick, um, Courier, who obviously won the French twice. So I, I was able to go out there and compete. The biggest problem that, that I had in my game is that five foot ten. I talked about not having a massive serve. When I played the, the big top guys, they're all bigger, stronger competitors. It was like you, you, you're in a boxing match and you're playing outside of your weight. Um, I could match it in all the skill sets, but it was tougher physically for me. And that's why, as a in, on a doubles court. Um, that physical power is taken away. It, it relies more on touch and skill and being able to get it. Angles into, and, yeah, and, yeah. and specific placement. Um, so that was where I was able to do well. And the other part was about communication. I like to talk because um, when I played singles, if it was a bad day, it, it was me eating at me. Yeah. <laughs> and, and when I was having a bad day at doubles, I could tell you all about it yeah. and, and get it out of the system. So, yeah. you know, that, that also had a fair bit to play with my singles. Results. I know about that talking to myself <laughs> stuff, yeah. Okay, little wedge in here. 70 metres. 70 metres with a little crosswind. I like it. Come on, bite. Oh, do it. Go, go do it. Do it. Do like. it. Oh, Ooh, spin. Look at that. Oh. Great shot. That's a birdie. It's We've a got birdie a birdie range. for sure. We can maybe make a two. There we go. I sort of feel like I'm warming up, Jeff. You are warming up. Well done. It was you talking about how great a singles player That's I was. right. A little <laughs> pump up. Blow wind. Hold Come on, up. wind. Hold it up. Ooh. Get the edge of the green. Oh, sit there. I like that. Good shot. Well done. We haven't made a putt. We're making this one. So you still play tennis? I don't play a lot of tennis. Um, I play usually twice a year if it was a normal year. We haven't had a normal year for a bit. Um, where I played Australian Open in Legends and Wimbledon in Legends. So I practice a little bit before both of those. Uh -huh. um, but I mean, I love golf because I can compete at golf. Yeah. And so the handicapping system and whatever makes me feel like I can go out there and challenge myself. Unfortunately, I can't challenge myself at tennis. So I still hit the ball well enough that I can just about beat any amateur. Uh -huh. uh, not the younger kids, because they're physically, they can move. But anybody else, I, I can hit it still exactly the same. Just run them around. Yeah. And so... And Is it I, fun to go have a hit and giggle with your friends? No, or? Because, because that's where tennis players and... Um, we don't have a handicap system. That yeah. it, I get nothing out of it. Mm. Whereas you and I can go and play golf and we can have a great competitive match because yeah. I've got shots 
Uh, and we can set it up so it's exactly. you're harder to beat yeah. than anybody, and, yeah. But that, that's the one thing that's always been difficult for tennis and why golf corporately is such a massive sport because if I'm a CEO of a company and I can go out and win one hole off you, it's made my day, yeah. but you're never going to break my serve at tennis. Yeah. So that's where it, it's a bit challenging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Made it. Yes. We got one. <laughs> okay. All right, we got a chance for even power on the last. All right, birdie required. Now this is the hole that. This um, is the famous hole with the lighthouse. Got all the, the boats sitting out there on the left. Aggressive up the left. Just don't run out. Should be good. Bite, bite. Should bite. be good. Perfect, almost. Let's make birdie on the last. A bit thin, but bite, bite, bite. Oh, oh. oh blimey. Was that six iron? Yeah. Hit that one well. I carried it 160. Wow. Downwind, I noticed. Oh, I didn't look at that. You forgot mm. to tell me that, caddy. Yeah. <laughs> what it's a... What an ordinary caddy you One mate. thing you have to remember is it's always the caddy's fault too. <laughs> Anything that goes wrong. Well, that was definitely your fault. It's always the caddy's fault. Okay. Come on. Oh, get in, get in. Sit, oh, sit. Sit down. Sit. Gimme. All right, right, we made par on the last. Well done, mate. Mate, thank, thank you. you. Good All fun, right. huh? I, I look forward to seeing if anybody can beat. <laughs> 